Hey guys, welcome back. I'm the Painter Buster and today we're making some super crispy fish and chips that I know you're going to enjoy. If you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe or leave me a message in the comments. I read them all. Okay, that said, well, let's get started. Today I'm making fish and chips, one of my all-time favorite comfort foods, and the fish that I'll be using is snapper, aka sea bream. When it comes to choosing a piece of fish for a dish like this, I always go for sashimi grade. That means it's so good it can be eaten raw. It's boneless and dry and super, super fresh. The flesh is firm, the quality is that good, nothing can beat it. And if you check all these boxes, you can have some great fish and chips that you'll never forget. Okay, with a little bit of magic, let's dust that fish with some flour. Now this wouldn't be fish and chips without a sausage. Oh, that's a Johnsonville sausage. Lemon and pepper, we better dust that too. And now that's done, let's go and make the batter. First, we need some beer. Now any type will do, but I prefer a carbonated lager. Next is the piece de resistance, the chew high, AKA the Benta Buster's secret ingredient. This combination of carbonated alcohol is gonna make the batter super crispy. In a bowl, prepare the dry ingredients and don't forget the rice flour. That's really important because that's another thing that's gonna help make this crispy. Pour in the liquid and start to gently mix it all together. The key here is not to overmix. We're actually looking for a lumpy batter. Gently incorporate everything together while thinking some happy thoughts. Hmm. Happy thoughts. Okay, now snap out of it. Now to get that golden color, we need some honey. Oh, by the way, that's uh, New Zealand honey. Just a wee bit of a plug there. Now if the batter is in the viscosity that you require, just add some more beer. Okay, let's have a look. Nah, it's still not ready. Let's add a little bit more beer. Now this is starting to look good. It's what we want. It's like a pancake batter. As you can see, it's not too runny and it's not too thick. It's somewhere in the middle. It's, uh, it's lumpy. Now it's time to batter the fish. Now take the fillet and completely submerge it in the batter, making sure that it's totally coated. This is where things get messy, but it's kind of fun and it's quite therapeutic. I've preheated the fryer to 190 degrees Celsius. That's 374 Fahrenheit. To get a crispy golden batter, the oil has to be hot from the get-go. Now I'm using this technique to gently ease the fish into the oil. This ensures that it won't stick to the bottom. While the fish is frying, remove any excess bits of batter that are floating on the surface. Okay, now it's time to add the battered sausage. By the way, these sausages, they remind me of my hometown, New Zealand, Johnsonville. Yep, good old Jville. Now you could always get some good fish and chips there. Now keep an eye on them when they're frying, and when they're golden and beautiful, that means they're done. Now look at that, that is perfection. When the alcohol in the batter hits the oil, magic happens. This is definitely way better than anything you'll get in your local fish shop. The chew high that I used has about 5% alcohol in it, and the two main ingredients are carbonated water and shochu. And some have no shochu at all. They actually use vodka. Okay, with that said, let's check on our sausage. I think it's almost done. Okay, our sausage is beautiful and golden. That means he's ready. Oh, and we can't forget the chips. So once they're ready, it's time to plate up. Look at that, isn't it wonderful? You'd think that worked in a fish shop all my life. Now I'm just gonna sprinkle some Himalayan salt on the chips. Now that we have our chips in place, it's time to bring out the bad boys. Now just a wee bit more of that salt, and then they're ready to eat. Now trust me, these guys are so flavorful, they won't be needing any condiments. Okay, first let's get stuck into that sausage. Mm. 
This sausage is delicious. Johnsonville, wherever you are, you're doing us proud. Now at this point, I'm gonna cut the background music because I really want you to hear that crunch. Please excuse the fan in the background and listen carefully. And there it is, the sound of perfection. And guys, from just looking at the state of my hands, you know that this is finger licking good. As you can see, the batter is super crisp and the fish itself is so flavorful, flaky and moist. Nothing beats it. Now, when it comes to quality fish, we really are spoiled for choice here. So wherever you are, do your best to find a great filling because you won't be disappointed. Now, this recipe is a real deal, so I really hope that you try it. Thanks for watching. I'm the Benta Buster, and I'll see you next time.